G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Naomi Higgins. Clap, cunt. Just clap. Stand. You're so rude about it. <laughs> you know, you could be kind. <laughs> you could be kinder. Ben Russell? <laughs> this just in, I'm Ben Russell. This has thrown out the whole yeah. rhythm. Yeah, of it, it has, it has. It's fucked. And Tom Walker is here. <laughs> Tom, your fringe is looking. Yeah, what's wrong fuck? with your it's fucking fringe? It's looking bad, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly it. coming from around the middle of my head. <laughs> like the loser's way of reclaiming the hairline. It's not working. <laughs> Everyone can tell. They're pushing a retreat. Uh, Why? Should... Your hair looked better before. What happened? You ever thought about uh, maybe, good. you know, putting get some some of that drips, some of the drips, or. Something like that, dripping that through your hair, squirting it through. What are you talking about? Little hair drips. What the hair ones drips? in um, uh, uh, Shallow Hal. You I'm, drip you it up. Are you talking about like hair product or the stuff you use to uh, stave off male pattern baldness? The stuff you use to stave off male pattern baldness. I already have that and it's not working as well as you'd hope. You do twice a, you twice a day? You taking it twice a day? No, I regularly forget it. Yeah, and no, you've got to keep going that's, with that. That's, you know, that's part why? of the treatment. Why? Why do you think you forget well, maybe it, Maybe I'll go Tom. grab it now. Mm, like okay. It. Um, while Tom's doing that, I want to thank our new patrons. We signed up <laughs> since our last episode. Michael Flatty, uh, John Cole... Carl Witty, Boot Scootin' Putin, oh. Greg Larson, Soft Lips. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oz, Sinbad, Unreal Fitness, oh. Louis Garcia, and Connor and Alexandria Maligan. Uh, thank Do you, you so want much to explain for... that reference? Yeah, but for, for all the viewers at home that might not have been here for the, because uh, we took a, a week off. And in that week, we took a, we did a Twitchins. We, we did, did do a Twitchins. We yes. did a lockdown version yeah. um, of the show. Yes. And Ben said, anyone had any dreams? Yeah. And Evan just immediately volunteered. No, look, I wasn't going to say it, but then you... You... No, I was, you I were not under duress to say this. We did not push you at all. You volunteered this information freely and with vim and vigor. <laughs> Uh, a, he's been on the show before, Greg Larson, yes. Evan had a couple of sex dreams about him. <laughs> yeah. And he chose to bring that up on the show. You ever had any sex but, dreams about Greg Larson, Tom? Not yet, but ever since I found out Evan has been having them, I've been raring to get my own. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd love to incept you with a Greg sex dream sometime. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Maybe great. I'll go deep. Ben just walks in. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I be earnest for a second? Please. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Um, this would have been the end of our 10-week season of the show, which feels a bit weird because we know we like we normally do like 10-week blocks. Yeah. But this this one 10-week block has been interrupted by two right. lockdowns oh, in Melbourne. Yeah. Plus Ben isolating for two weeks in the middle of that. Okay. And quite an interrupted run. Mm. Um, it was, I think it was, It Takes Two was the start of this run. It Takes Two? Can you be earnest? Yeah. Well, you've done such a great job being Evan. Why not give it a try? <laughs> oh, my God. Good joke, Tom. Ah! Sorry, guys, we're dealing with a bit of audio delay with the remote <laughs> record. I thought it was really well-timed. I loved the delivery of it. I thought that, that was good. tonally it fit with the show. And I loved what you were doing, and I could see you in that joke. So great job, thank you. Um, uh, anyway, so th this this we would have been this would have been the last we would have been taking a break after this. Thank you, this Ben. Week. I knew that was coming. I fucking knew. It. <laughs> 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 Too good. That's it. Um, Just looking into his dead eyes, I'm like, give, <laughs> give it 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Even as you were saying, it was, I'm so it, sorry we, about it. We would have been going on right now, but we'll we'll keep it going for now. Um, because otherwise we miss each other too. We miss each other. It's just good to see people and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom via the screen. <laughs> yeah, look at those, look at those shark eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like the part where Godzilla's looking through the window at the family, right? You haven't seen the eyes of a Tom Walker chief. 
was I was looking forward to this because I was like, oh, this would be nice—a weeknight not seeing my own face in like my own screen. And then I forgot that I would probably see the monitor. And not only that, my face is much larger than my friends' whole bodies. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how loud you loom in our hearts, Tom. That's right. <laughs> you take up a place in my heart. That shape. Can we let Evan... Good. I... So, okay. Talk so about we'll, his feelings for once. Can Evan no, talk about I, his fucking I, feelings? I didn't once. even know he had any. <laughs> up until now. Please. Lockdown does strange things to a man. <laughs> I just want to thank our patrons and our Twitch subscribers uh, who provide the only income that this show has... Uh, I wouldn't be a... Let's get it over to Evan for a feeling. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking... <laughs> um, That's my bad. Uh, I should have known that. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, be able to afford to do the show without uh, that support. Um, we wouldn't be able to keep streaming on Twitch uh, without people subbing um, because it costs money to, to do all this. True. Um, so thanks everyone that uh, does that. Um, at the studio, we've had projects cancel and postpone indefinitely, which is a challenge for cash flow for a small business like ours. Um, and there, uh, there's been times where I'm thinking, I don't know if I can keep doing this show. Why? Well, because of <laughs> money and time and work. <laughs> As if he's not going to say, <laughs> you dipshit. <laughs> I thought it was implied. Uh, Just, were you not listening? He was literally talking about it. <laughs> the sentence before and the sentence after address those things. <laughs> Anyway, oh. it's the income from Patreon and Twitch that makes it all possible. So thank you, everyone who uh, contributes to all that. Um, we are streaming the taping of this show live on Twitch. So join us over there for a chat. Now? Um, right now. Oh. Yeah, I and mean, unless you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I'm not. No. I'm here. But you do. You never miss an episode, though, do you? Me? Yeah. I don't think so. As in watching it. Oh. On YouTube. Yeah. I've never missed an episode that I'm not in. Obviously, I'd more than likely watch the episodes I'm not in than the ones that I'm in. Can you imagine if I just watched the episodes I'm in to just go back and look at the funny things that I've said? That would be crazy. Tom, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> are you going to do this all night? Because that's it. I'm gonna, I know how much these screens cost and I'm willing to kick it. And replace thoughts on it. what? Sorry, Ben. Oh fuck! <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I was just asking your thoughts on what Naomi just said. Over to you. Oh, huge fan of Naomi, but awful to see her in such a state. Mm. I really think that when stuff like this happens to an athlete, the only option is to retire. Mm. <laughs> Great thoughts. Uh, well put, from Tom Walker. <laughs> Good work, Ben. Um, join us over on our <laughs> Twitch uh, Friday nights. Wipe. <laughs> 8 p.m. Twitch.tv right? slash Gamey Gamey Show. No. Huh? Um, no, that's that's not right. What's you with your attitude today? My attitude? Yeah. What's wrong with it? You. <laughs> 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 uh, so uh, sorry about them, Evan. Please, continue. Continue. Um, we you. are not animals. This week, we're going to take a look at Songs for a Hero, but first... Are you sneezing? Was that a sneeze? I think that was a little laugh. It's, just, it's like looking at a regular man, but with two devils on his shoulder. The angel didn't show up for work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I killed her. <laughs> but first, what do you think of this? Engineers at the University of Maryland have 3D printed a soft robot hand with three fingers and successfully programmed it to play through the first level of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, sure, that's why they did it. I don't think that's <laughs> why they did it. Porno! <laughs> <laughs> that is um, for fingering, sorry! <laughs> yeah. Rather than using hard plastic or the metal... The ultimate game. <laughs> rather than using hard plastic or metal... Game of fingering. <laughs> soft robots... Welcome to the game! A game of fingering! <laughs> and that is what Tom was... Uh, Tom and Ben were referring to you before when they called me an athlete, by the way. But anyway, Evan. <laughs> Soft robots are made from flexible materials and articulate... Sounds like this thing's made for fingering to me. <laughs> articulate... I don't think I'm going to get tired of it. <laughs> I, I've gotten tired of it. It's all about your attitude. Before the Say present. you won't and you will keep loving it. Okay. The I man, love it. The, they're made from <laughs> flexible materials and articulate with the help of air or fluids instead of motors, allowing them to writhe around in ways that conventional robots can't easily achieve. You see? Do you hear what oh you're God. saying? <laughs> Come on with this. 
Great news. The researchers at this robotics lab have finally made a robot come. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What's happening? Our next goal is to get the robot to wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wiggler. <laughs> Mankind has always asked the question, can you do a wiggle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and up until now, the answer has been no. No, but now the answer is yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's good stuff. This is, um, this is impressive technology. Um, I can't wait for um, old Bachelor contestants to be pushing this on Instagram. What? To get fingered with. <laughs> right. That is a thing that started recently, huh? Where, like, you know, mere, like uh, influencers are being paid to have a code to purchase a dildo. Yeah. Well, Abby yeah. Chatfield, the best person who's ever been on The Bachelor, actually designed her own vibrator. Oh. That's been on... Every famous person has gotten shipped one of them. But then, right. yeah, you've also got a lot of people being sent free sex toys. And is that a soft robot or a hard robot? Evan just wants to know for Best a friend. Of both <laughs> <laughs> soft and hard in all the right places, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till they make a Greg Larson sex robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be like watching Evan fuck the robot from Big Hero 6. <laughs> the robot from Big Hero 6 is actually a soft robot. Um, you, <laughs> you already knew the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are off. Um, um, what, what was your question? What was your answer? Did you have a question? <laughs> my answer is definitely yes. <laughs> I had a comment. This is this is impressive <laughs> technology for soft robots, right? Um, why is it? Why wait? So it's got fluid. We've all got fluid. <laughs> yeah. Well, humans are soft robots. In oh, a way. famously, <laughs> famously soft. Robots. That's what I'm always calling yeah. people. <laughs> um. Are you telling me that they squirt fluid into this to make it harder? <laughs> To make it, to make it move. How did they come up with that? It's, it's, like, it's like, you know how you've got those guys at the car service? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the squirters. Yeah, the guys that finger you and fuck you and make you come? Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, no, I don't, Ew, ladies. <laughs> Ow. You never bought a car before? <laughs> 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 um, the, you know, the, the, the wacky inflatable yeah. guys, when yeah. you go, you know, okay, those, they How are, do they go? Can you demonstrate? They're, they're tubes Demonst that, that with air. Let's get some torso into there because yeah. that's not really given the whole Come picture, on. Evan, for people who haven't seen one. Come on, Evan, that's not how it goes. Uh. It kind of goes like this. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> and now what if one was sad, Evan? Uh. What if one was sad? <laughs> they're all sad. <laughs> Um, yeah, you would be if you were stuck in the parking lot of a used car shop. If you have like a tube or something and you uh, apply air pressure. To Wait a second, or... one second. Yes. <laughs> Fly. Or, uh, this is the first time someone's explained to Ben how to get hard and he is <laughs> absolutely glued to his seat. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's 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 illustrated. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Behind us, he's got places to be. <laughs> see, you can see how they sort of wiggle around like that, right? Yeah, real so wigglers. So that's air. Oh, they're so wet. I think it's liquid. Yeah. You can see it dripping. It's dripping. Yeah. yeah it's a. Dripping. There's a word for that. I don't know what the. <laughs> it's fucking poached. This isn't a sex thing. Um, that robot's poached. <laughs> so it, it moves by um, uh, varying the pressure strength between low, medium, and high, and that's. I guess one of the uh, and innovative fast and medium and slow. Well, you got to no. you got to change patterns. You know, you can't just be keeping doing the same thing. No, it's circular you, sometimes. Yeah. You change the concentric circles. Um, you can move the hand up up behind you or in front of you. Yeah. So, so but the somehow, burglar, somehow the tricky, it's designed tricky so that so that by adjusting the pressure, they can move the fingers independently of each other. Right. My question Which, is, how does it crazy. know where the clit is? Well, it doesn't. that's a trick no, question because it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. oh, we can't stop. <clears throat> uh, I mean, it's just running a pre-programmed, uh, you know, program. 
So you have to program, you program where it, your clit is. If you did, that's what would happen. It would hit it. I, I suppose. <laughs> nice. The, and the, nice. The, 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 um, the other impressive part about this is that so soft robots are harder to control than hard robots. They're less precise, right? Because you have a motor moving something, you're using liquids. Um, also because they're lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's human nature, baby. <laughs> so they're slower and less precise to move, right? So the, the fact that they've been able to get this onto a, a controller and... Just like men. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like my boyfriend. Um, get out, they're able to... a nice skirt. Oh, speaking of boyfriend. Oh, um, and he's taken aww. Gonzo's bed again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book, Gonzo. <clears throat> Uh, maybe we should move on. No, no. You what were you this? saying? I was just. P- They're harder to move. They're harder yeah, to control. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because it's because they've been able to design something that that works with one fluid source and is precise enough that they can play a video game uh, and successfully make it through the first level of Super Mario Brothers. That's impressive. But wait, it, but they've just programmed it to press the buttons. Yeah. At a certain time. Yes, but it's able to do that. Yeah, but then what are you laughing just, at, Tom? It's just pressing buttons. That part <laughs> isn't impressive. On the dog, and it just has a human heart. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Oh yeah, welcome, Tom. Awful, <laughs> awful little Hank Hill. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. It really sucks. And I'd heard Ben talk about that before, but that was the first time I've seen it. It's tough. And it's got oh, a, it's a tough real stuff. human ass. <laughs> yeah, Smooth Jesus as hell. Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't right. It can't be legal. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, fuck. An ass running that around. used to be a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to charge your dog with public oh. indecency. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that tail down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's bad news. I just was at the dog park. I saw a human ass do a dog turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see that every night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on human ass does dog turn. What are you saying? saying? You could program like an emulator yes. to press the buttons. Yes, in fact, this is an emulator. Okay. Uh-huh. Enough with your attitude. So you can do. So there's nothing impressive about it completing a level of Mario. No, not. not it's not, not AI, man. No, no, not in and of itself. The impressive thing is not that it was able to finish the level, really. <laughs> It's the Sorry, I just didn't think he was going to be able to add to the conversation. <laughs> I was just surprised that he said something that made sense. Yeah, what's out? This kitty has claws. <laughs> <laughs> the um, no, the impressive part is that that it has the the dexterity, I suppose. To... Well, because that it's analog. It's not that impressive. Yes. I mean, I've got excellent dexterity, and I'm filled with liquid. <laughs> um, but more than one liquid. <clears throat> Many liquids. This is one fluid. Think about that. Blood, piss, calm. Forget him. You just I got one about, now. Oh man, that's a dream. <laughs> Downsizing. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rid of all your liquids. <laughs> um, maybe we. No, what would you I, do with just one liquid, Tom? Oh, uh, drink that thing down. <laughs> Great. Do you want to know that. what's in it, or? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> want to drink it on down? What if it's a? Uh, what if it's something that'll make you real slippery? Already swallowed. I'm slipping and sliding all over the oh, place. Holy shit. <laughs> we got a madman on our hands. Um, anyway. You've really lost your... Uh, we've, we've worn you down early. Yeah. <laughs> you were really excited about Evan, the fingers. Yeah, did you think, do you think that the robot is cool, Evan? I feel like you've tried to ask that question to us a few times. What do you think about the robot? I think it's cool. I think it's an impressive little thing. Just kidding. Oh. (laughs) 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 Evan, I'm going to be honest with you. I think there's, we don't really need robots to play video games because the whole point is for humans to enjoy them. But I do think this will genuinely... Make a great sex toy one day. Yeah, God, robots play <laughs> video game. I'm genuinely serious. <laughs> I the the point of this isn't they didn't set out to make a robot to play Mario. The Mario that that was just a, a performance test. 
That yeah. was a passion project. Yeah. <laughs> the, the guy that led the project, he was a fan of Mario. He used to play it as a kid. Dork. Weird. Um, Not me. Freak. So it was, just it. About, no, it was just about loser. checking its dexterity if it's able to. Idiot. Um, what a stupid piece Have they of talked shit. about why they're actually making it, though? The, no, I, I don't. I'm not sure. Who would you rather fight? A robot with electricity for blood or with blood for blood? <laughs> uh, probably... El- hmm. Electricity for blood. Unplug it. Boom. That's good. What about if it's its own... It's got a battery. You know, it's not, it's not from the 90s. It's wireless. It's cordless. You, right. So it could unplug and still have some power. It doesn't even have a plug. It's got a battery that's already been charged up. Maybe By it's what? Solar powered. By... Solar yeah, powered. Solar. All right. Can't... Good night. <laughs> it doesn't. What? It doesn't matter. It Wait can till last. Night time. It can last the night. That's. It's got a battery pack. It's got it like a Tesla battery pack. It's mm. very yeah. Good. Jury's still out on that. I don't think we're ready to go with it. <laughs> I can't stand to watch Ben teach Naomi about solar power. <laughs> this is. This is a perversion of the Wait, natural so order. Wait. So, but how does sun isn't electricity? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it can be converted. To. To energy, because it is energy. There's energy all around us, man. You just got to reach out and let it into your heart. You know what, man? I'm feeling crystals. I'm feeling some energy right here. There's crystals that can help you center your chi, okay? <laughs> I got stones and rocks. <laughs> I got beads. <laughs> you ever thought about beads? Beads? Beads, yeah. Not in terms of powering a robot. Maybe it's time we started. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is all just a... We're all just... I know what these fingers are. What are they? They're a gateway to bead robots. <laughs> <laughs> robots powered entirely by beads. <laughs> Our bead power robot is here. <laughs> um, we should crack on. You think? Yeah, there's a lot more show to go. All right. Oh my God. Um, I can stay here all night. I can't. No? You got someone to be? I got heaps of places to, that I could be. Name one. That you could be. <laughs> I could be at home. <laughs> okay. You haven't been okay. there enough, Yeah, that was ben? easy. <laughs> I could be at some of my fabulous friends' houses. Can you though? Are you allowed to do that? <laughs> <What>? like, <laughs> no, you couldn't. <laughs> I could be. I could be at... Uh, Greg Larson's house? Say Greg that Larson's Evangelist. house. <laughs> sipping on cocktails. I could be at my friend um, Russell Crowe's house. So Evan said, let's crack on. And you were like, no, I've got to get this out. (laughs) I don't remember how I got here. (laughs) 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 Listen, it wasn't the funniest riff, but at least it took a long time. Uh, I don't think you are in any position to judge riffs. Wait for it. <laughs> Evan, please. Evan, go. No, he's waiting for Tom. Crack on. Tom to, to reply. Uh, you leave. Tom's right. fine. Just okay. do it. Uh, at first glance, Songs for a Hero looks like any other retro-style 2D side-scrolling platformer. But there's a key difference. It's a musical. The entire game is narrated through song from the point of view of the main character. You might be thinking, doesn't that get annoying after a while? The answer is no, it doesn't take a while. (laughs) Let's take a look at the trailer. I'll introduce myself, I'm the hero of this song. I have to save the princess and I just can't take too long. But in order to do this, there's something I need to improve. This quest will not be overcome if I don't start to move. Going up was something really clever. I should be applauded, my goal is closer than ever. I must engage in battle with a mushroom and a bee. They strike together cause they're both afraid of me These monkeys just won't leave me alone Coming out like a swarm ready to attack 
Throwing many stones at bore me I'll find a way to hit them right back This is getting on my nerves I have a feeling very soon I'm gonna lash out At all these bats I have no doubt In this dusty place There might be danger of all sorts Well, I wish I could trade my armor For a pair of shorts <laughs> Well, I guess my life is always hanging by a thread I must measure every single jump that I make Yet there is no place where I'd rather be instead And my vision of complete make no mistake If you still couldn't understand somehow What this video game is all about I'll try my best to explain it all to you so let's get to it without further ado It's a classic adventure with a twist That you never thought could even exist The music reacts to how you play And makes fun of video game cliches It's a whole universe of song and verse Plenty of levels to traverse There's so many creatures and bosses galore With secrets to make you come back for more Listen amigos, songs for a hero Is the name of the game and it's available now that was a look at the trailer for Songs for a Hero. Um, this is, uh, th this is, yeah, it's a musical game. Yes. And I'll never forgive it for that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I look. Th so, so this game originally, um, originally came out in. Yeah, explain yourself. <laughs> I've <haven't> done this. <laughs> this game originally came out in 2016. Um, in 2016? Yes, but in Brazilian Portuguese on PC. Right. And then um, last year it got a release on PC, the, the international version in English. Um, and just this past week it's been released on Switch. That's why we're, we're covering it now. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, so it is a musical game. As you can tell by the, the trailer, the, the main character sings, um, and he sings the whole way through. Um, <laughs> Start to finish for several hours. Oh, another statue shooting arrows at me. I will have to go through this with agility. Glad I have my shield to protect me. Can fend off the danger, whatever it may be. I got a message from Evan telling me that uh, this was the game. I purchased the game on Steam, mm. and he'd offered to reimburse me for the cost of the game. I instead opted to uninstall it after 30 minutes of play and request a refund mm. because I did not want it in my inventory ever. Yeah. This is the worst game I have ever played. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of your worst nightmare. I spent nightmare, every yeah. second of those 30 minutes with my heckle, hackles up, genuinely <laughs> scowling at my monitor <laughs> with the whites of my eyes showing because I felt like I was being attacked by an improv class. <laughs> it does, it has a, a, an improv game feel to it. <laughs> yeah. like it's the worst voice I have ever heard. Yeah. The rhymes are bad. I think because it was originally in Portuguese, at one point he attempts to rhyme cover with over. Mm. Uh, right. Like it's, it, it, this is I think that no good. I think partly that translation thing also is responsible for the... Um, the, it's pretty sloppy with the syllables. Like it doesn't. Mm. D it, there's mm -hmm. like of, often they're trying to cram too many lyrics into one line um, and trying to make it fit. I mean that sort of stuff I can understand, especially being it translated and things like that. But it the thing I don't understand is why you would get that voice. And I think it's because they're YouTubers and it's the person in the YouTube doing the voice. But yeah, but they <laughs> fucking the suck. <laughs> Their voice sucks. Their voice sounds like a blown out asshole <laughs> like it's just been blown to hell <laughs> Jeez. it's it's one of the worst yeah to be honest i have I blown out my asshole several times and <laughs> it it's sounds... always sounded better than this <laughs> <laughs> i think um yeah he's not a great singer but i think they're approaching it from the thing of like well it's a comedy thing so you know, <laughs> It's funny. That's funny. That's good. Oh, it's funny. He's like, now I have to go on this platform. Here I go. It's a I hope that I will get to the place and add this I know. And I was like, ah. funny. It's, it's funny. meta. He's, he's singing stuff. about what he's doing in the game. It sounds like the it. 
the songs that I just make up while like feeding my dog. Hey, no, 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 don't that. do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Yours would be better than this. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're better. But quite genuine. Yeah. <laughs> like this it's the, the songs that you just shit. sing to yourself. I'm on a. Take a big piss in the toilet. Gonna take a big piss. Uh, that that already is a more dynamic song than that in this game. What I yeah. don't understand is this is the whole, this is, the tune is the same throughout the whole level. Yeah. yeah. So it's mm -hmm. just this, and it's a very simple melody. Yes. From what I understand, you can get things that make the melody more complicated. Uh and make it sound a bit better. I don't know why you would do that and why you would make the first thing in this game the most annoying, repetitive shit. Not that it gets much better than that. It, it changes up. So each, each level world is kind of a different sort of melody. Um, but I think, I think it is, kind of has to be a bit repetitive because of the way it's kind of structured, right? Because for, the, for it to be able to kind of respond to what you're doing, it, all of the it needs to be like easily swappable yes. bars or stanzas. I think maybe is a, is a possibly yeah, the right. It's just four term. four the whole time, but mm. with it's yeah. just like it's it's there's no chorus or bridge or I don't know the fucking musical terms, but it's just <laughs> slop. There's no real like it's no, yeah. there's no structure. It's, so it's just the same repetitive. thirty second loop, and then every time you like see a snake, he'll start singing about the snake. <laughs> I see another snake, and boy, this one is red. Oh, with me, uh, that means it shoots fire. I hope I don't be dead. That is the, yeah. quite genuinely what it's like. I wrote down my favorite lyric <laughs> because I, because you said that this had good reviews on Steam. It did have it very got, good it's reviews. Got, it's actually been People quite well received this game. online. Yeah. Here is some advice. Take it from me. Always look where you're going, so you don't hurt your knee. That's good advice, and it's very funny and very relevant to the game. Yeah, I would say. And also, so it's hard to write comedy. It's hard <laughs> to write comedy. It's hard to be funny. It's hard to be funny in two languages. It's double hard to be funny in two languages in song, in rhyme. And I think genuinely, this is an impossible proposition for this translation to be good. Mm. Yeah, it's like they game were so stinky. preoccupied with whether or not they could. They didn't stop. To think about whether they should. Mm. Jeff Goldblum, Jurassic whether Park. Whether they should. No, my name's Naomi. <laughs> You're Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I loved you in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta go make a call. <laughs> um. Hey, I was from. Is that your Jeff Goldblum? Uh, Incredible. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm Jeff. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Uh, he's always saying that. Right? Jeff Goldblum. Oh, it's me, Jeff. Um, here's things the game does. Oh, the melody will get better the longer that you play it. First of all, it's too annoying to keep playing. Yeah. And what was that game that did it better? It's on an angle. It's kind of like Tetris. I've watched Bed Swords play it. Um, it, but it's like blocks, but it's a very simple melody and it's not some fucking annoying cunt singing and then the more, the better your score gets, the, it brings in like different elements like strings and stuff. But it has lyrics? No. no oh, okay. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, it's so like, annoying. Okay. The other, and the other game that reminds me of um, when this is done well is like a song that has to last, a song with different things that has to last a whole level. Mm is there's a level in control. That's oh, my yes. favorite level in any video before, game. Yeah. And that has a song um, that changes when you go to different rooms. Yeah. So, um, and I've, I've watched videos of it, like it's hard to do, yes. but they did a much better job of it and it mm. was actually enjoyable as opposed to this, which make me want, made me want to rip my own head off. <laughs> Another thing about the game is that the gameplay is incredibly simple. This is like something you could yeah. make in Game Maker. Like it's genuinely just, there's no sense of momentum or movement. Mm. The puzzles are non-existent. Yeah. I hate this game. And I've previously liked Evan and I genuinely, <laughs> I, I'm genuinely having to train myself to like Evan again. 
<laughs> because he brought this into my life. So Good I luck, guess brother. sorry. I asked Evan why he had the why he made me play this, and he replied with sometimes bad things happen to good people. <laughs> I genuinely was excited to have Tom on the show. I was like, this is yeah. really great. I got ten minutes into this game and then I messaged him to apologize. Because this is by far the worst this I would rather play Hades for forty hours than wow. play this for 30 minutes. I just kind of, I booted it up and was just, I wasn't. I would rather play the most critically, positively reviewed <laughs> Tom, game. Tom, if you don't watch the fucking show, then don't come on the fucking show. Okay, no, Tom? No, no, I know. I know, I know you don't like the good thing. It's I know a callback. Like yeah, you like mainly yeah. shit games, so it's surprising that you don't <laughs> like the <laughs> game. Shut up. <laughs> but I think, yeah, Tom's right. I think the. It because I, I don't like platformers. Does Luke generally. Hero mean nothing to you? <laughs> Remember what we had. I know. I um, <laughs> I, I never forget. Um, I yeah. I, I don't like platforms Aww. kind of at, at the best of times. You're um, really bad. At what about at the I'm, I'm worst of times? And at the worst of times, they're actually even worse if you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm hearing a lot of bad stuff about the worst of times. <laughs> but not a lot of good stuff about the best of times. Uh, yeah, but, but yeah, as, as a platformer, I just didn't even... One of the things that I, I actually quite like, because I don't like platforming, right? But I actually like platformers that have good combat. But this, the combat in this... Or a good story. Or a good story, right? So this one, it, it fails on both counts, because, in my <laughs> mind anyway, because there... And I mean, in reality. There is... <laughs> There is no narrative other than like, oh, I've got to save the princess from the thing. It's literally just the same. You know. Bro, and you know what? I was like, <gasps> there's. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, you go. I just, I, the delay kicked in, but I had like a visceral reaction to the word princess. Uh, yeah, you can get to that game, next. There, Okay, you know, he's going to go. Yeah, no, you go ahead. <laughs> um, I, I was like, I see what's going to happen, right? Because he's singing about what he's doing. He's singing about it being a game. Mm. Well, not so much. He's singing about what he's doing. Yeah. They don't care and about I the fourth like, wall in this game. Well, that's what I was like. Oh, I, I died at one point and I was like, oh, here we go. He's going to be like, why did I die? No, just start singing the same thing he was singing before and I have to listen to him again, rediscover yeah. moving platforms and different enemies and you just have to listen to the same thing mm. again. Yes. And again, this is going the whole time. I thought the so game... So they had to write so many lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they just clearly fucking churned them out. There's definitely yeah. some filler in there. Oh, my God. Uh, well, apart from the don't uh, trip over, you might hurt your knee. I hated the <laughs> gameplay, but I still thought... The, and the game gameplay is just, like, dog shit. You're absolutely right. It could have been made in, like, a... It does feel like it's made in, like, a, a flash game maker type thing mm. um but i still thought that the music got in the way of the game gameplay you know what i mean i still wanted to be like man i wish this music would stop so i could play this <laughs> shit game <laughs> um, um the thing i was gonna say was yeah. that the game at the after the first boss fight the game has a your princess is in another castle joke mm. that made me a level of angry that I have not been in years. What was the joke? Uh, you defeat the queen and then I believe the rhyme is something like, wow, I can't believe that after all that hassle, I found out that the princess is in another castle. And I- Is that a joke? It's like it's uh, a reference to the princess being in another castle from Mario. Yeah, which is a but classic I understand it's a meme. reference. <laughs> but is it a joke? It, no, it, I, it's not. I think it's, it reminds me of like when improv students first discover that you can do like meta improv scenes. Like I'm pl improvising. <laughs> you know, it's real creepy <laughs> dog shit stuff that makes your teeth hurt when you watch it. I reckon it reminds me of um, like songs that 10 year olds would write where they're just thinking, what rhymes with this? If my oh, that word. And then they just try to Reverse fit engineer. words in that make it a sentence. If my 10 year old made a song like that, of that quality, I would throw it in the pool. <laughs> the song of a 10 year old. Spoiler alert, he does not know how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> so uh, we've got a sim style execution on our hands. <laughs> Finn is deleting the ladder as we speak. Going to turn into a blue this ghost. Is a of a game. Blue oh, ghost. <laughs> um, I would go so far as to say that this game is misogynistic, and I'll tell you why. Because beauty standards of today, they're harder than ever. And one thing I try to look after is my skin. And my brow was so furrowed the entire time I played this game <laughs> that I think I, I aged five years we have a between video of my eyebrows. Playing this game that we can cut in. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you cut in the video that I sent Beck? That's enough to make me give up or retire. Look at this now. After meeting many foes, I've made a lot of crowd and the castle's really close. With my trusty sword in hand, I am doing my best. And I will set the prince of And now cut in the video that Beck sent me back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> Just as long as we're blaming things on the game, uh, the game made my hairline retreat a few inches <laughs> and it also made me like self conscious in social situations. Um, mm. No matter which ones. The Can game, you imagine talking the, to someone who likes this game? This game uh, fucked my dad and <laughs> made my parents divorced. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Made my parents divorce. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, um. Unbelievable. I, th I thought the. I thought. See, I look at Tom's eyebrows. <laughs> I was. This game genuinely made me depressed. <laughs> this made me so sad to play this game. <laughs> Yeah. And I've played dog shit games. I've played games that break when you start them up. Like I've played like fucking bus sims where if you leave that the bus alone too long. That bus simulator was great though, let's be honest. The bus simulator is perfect, but like <laughs> that is so much more of a, a, a quote unquote boring game than this one. Mm. In this one, it, something is always happening, but the something that's happening is is so bad. You mm. just want it to stop. It's so bad. And that's, I kept yes. wanting to turn the volume down, but I was like, there's no point in muting the game and yeah. playing. Yeah. The, the fix you yeah. have is quitting the game. So yeah. why don't you just quit the game? That's the best part of the game. And I did buy this on Switch, and I don't think you can get a refund oh, on Switch. Oh, you can't get a refund. So I will be asking for money for that. That's Sorry. fine. Um, um. Uh, I actually was quite pleased after playing the game because I hadn't given any time to this week's game. Mm. And so, and I was streaming earlier today, and then afterwards, I oh, I better flick this game on just so I know what it is right. yeah. and then i flipped it on and i was like oh nah <laughs> <laughs> no absolutely not i don't want to know i don't i'm going to go into this as blind as i can because <laughs> this game <clears throat> is awful so there was a sense of relief <laughs> that I hadn't missed out on anything that I've been like, well, I'm sorry I didn't really play all of it. That was me as well cuz I set out like 2 hours to play this game today. Yeah. Half an hour in i was like Great. I'm done. Free time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I got How far along did you guys get in the game? I just got up to Act Three in the first world. Act Three, when he is singing about the bees that are clearly wasps, right? I didn't get uh -huh. that bit. <laughs> Maybe you're right. They I are got... definitely wasps, and he just keeps singing about these bees. I maybe got, um... they're Brazilian bees. I played a, like maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe an hour and ninety minutes or something, and I got to. Ninety minutes. Maybe. Oh, oh my god. god! You really why? Good lord! Well, what's wrong with your self-esteem, dude? How can you dude? handle that? This I, game is so. Have some beautiful. respect for yourself. I was trying, you know, I'm trying to trying to. Evan just sitting there gently smiling <laughs> as he plays through this fucking game. Ben was in the room when I was playing it, and I was actually swearing quite a bit because uh, I'm not very good at platformers. Oh my god! And um, you would have been struggling so much and I was, as well. It Evan, took me a, a, a no, longer, Evan. you know. I, Evan, no! I Evan, was, no! <laughs> I did have to, you know, I died a bit and had to replay bits, and that was, you know, it's and annoying. it's exactly the same song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The I lyrics. can imagine that, but the the lyrics get quite annoying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. But it's Crazy. All, I didn't think about that. You know, it, and I don't think it. I think it would have been less annoying if the person had any kind of musical tune or sort of <clears throat> good qualities in their voice, but it's it's like Jim Carrey, nasally, Dumb and Dumber. To, they're going back to this joke, and it's going to be. Yeah, they're kicking it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And it's time. It's really annoying. Like it's. It's like Charlie the Unicorn hey, energy. I'm going to sing like this. <laughs> well, that's what this is, right? Because this is like a. Th th this is a game that is based on a viral video from 2012. Mm. Well, yeah. there and you go. it's taken until 2016 to make the. G Listen, I don't want to talk about the game. <laughs> I don't have anything funny to say about the game. Uh, I hate the game. <laughs> all we have is trauma. <laughs> yeah. I was genuinely I fucking, so fucking angry. I was you... so angry. I cannot believe I take back everything bad I've ever said about any other video game on this show. <laughs> I'm wow. sure that'll free up some review codes for us. Yeah. Um, We're sorry, Biomutant. <laughs> We're sorry to the one journey to a savage planet. I'm sorry, Hades. I'm sorry. What else have I shit talked on this show? <laughs> so every game, every almost every game, almost every game that yeah, we've right, had. Okay, on this show. and you take it all back? I take it all back. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't. Do you guys believe. want to talk about something else? <laughs> what would you rather have done with your time, Tom? <laughs> Then. Can't, I would have done just about anything to myself <laughs> yeah. if I had known what I was getting myself into. I would have, like, you give me this 30 minutes of this fucking game and then give me a time machine to go back to talk to myself before. I would say, just hit yourself with a fucking hammer. Do the knees. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Yeah. Anything's better. Maim you, so you're saying, yourself. So you're no. saying you would maim yourself. You know, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound good. I mean, you could have had the option to like uh, tell yourself to have a cup of tea instead. Yeah. Or <laughs> mm. Immediately, my mind just completely missed that I could do something nice. No, yeah, yeah, because yeah. your mind's going, what would be like this, but not as bad? What about sucking yourself yeah. off? Would you do that? Could no, you? No, I couldn't possibly. No, he already, that's already, he's already got that marked out in his day. <laughs> oh, you've already, yeah. I can't, no, I can't, I can't go. triple dip. <laughs> <laughs> After a nice, soothing, sucking myself off, I, I've got the game and then I can't go back. <laughs> you can't suck the same dick twice. That's what they say. Jesus Christ. The Me and my gamer chair just reclining at forward in rage after playing this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. I um, I found a video once of a guy sucking himself off standing up, but he was wearing a backwards baseball cap and earbuds, and, like <laughs> AirPods, and that always stuck with me. Yeah. The idea that he was like, Why? oh, got to get my tunes. How did you find it? <laughs> got to get my dick sucking uh, music. I googled <laughs> guy sucking himself off while standing up. Yeah, and, right, okay. <laughs> I cannot suck myself off <laughs> unless Prince's Purple Rain is playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found the boss fights to be boring. Oh, you got up to a boss fight? Oh, he's in love with the game! I, I, I won the boss fight on the first go. Oh, yeah? It should tell you, way too easy if I was <laughs> able to get through it on the first try. Yeah, I think I... But you know what I did like? It was the only time that Lil Cunt wasn't... Singing. That's true, which seems a bit weird. The boss fights, yeah, there's no lyrics in the boss fights, but it seems like there's, you know, just as much to talk about in the boss fights. Because they can't go for that long because they're fucking losers. <laughs> I think maybe the reason they don't sing during the boss fights is because they are extent they're longer with the same stuff happening. Yeah, but couldn't what, you, what could like... You say? You could say so much shit. I'm not encouraging them, obviously. <laughs> but, like, you could talk about, like... Anything other than what's right in front of you. That's the problem with this game is that he's just yeah. singing about what's in front of you and he's giving like you hints on how to do things <clears throat> that you already did two seconds ago. Being yeah. like, what will this furnace do? I guess I will see. And I like had already lit it up. And yeah. it's like, oh, it opens a gate. Oh me, oh my, oh me. <laughs> <sighs> it's like a gamer version of Randy Newman. Remember how he used to do those songs that are just about walking down the street? Who's Randy we Newman? got short. People. Oh. Short people. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. Love Randy Newman. <laughs> you got bread in me. It's a great song. You got bread in me. Ben. Ben. Yeah? This is your camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell were you looking? <laughs> I was looking at the camera. You were barreling the main, the Evan cam. The yeah, Evan cam. Don't the main look boy. at my camera, Ben. Oh. I'll fucking look at whatever I want, <laughs> bitch. Um, so you think there should be more singing? No. Well, I think there should have been less game. 
Okay. If you just yeah. drag it all the way to zero, <laughs> I would say that's the right amount of this game that should exist. Again, this, this be... is for a very specific audience. You're the only reason that we've been subjected to this. This is for a fan base. You are the right. problem. I apologize. But yes, this is for fans of a Brazilian YouTuber, <laughs> a pair of brothers who made a funny video in Portuguese. Shout out and to And then Brazil. took four years to try to uh, localize it to English. Um, so it's your fault, Evan. No, it only, took, it only took one year to localize to English because... No, 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 you're right. It did, it did take four years to localize to English. And he comes but... by numbers and you don't know But he had to record... Me, big Tom, you kidding me? Apparently he... Had... Look at this. <laughs> Look how big he is. Had to look how big and yet his it's mouth big is Tom. still so small. It had, it had hey. to one of the tiniest mouths <laughs> in common. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> he had to record thousands of these stanzas. Apparently, who cares? I don't give a shit how much he worked on. I this. don't give a shit. <laughs> That's the thing. You can tell how much work it was to have him singing the whole time. Don't do it. You know what this I mean? It's like going to a fringe I, show, yeah. I appreciate the commitment to the bit. I don't. I think if... The bit yeah, should I, be funny. That's like going, I appreciate Hitler's commitment to the bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is! You know what bet it is! <laughs> <laughs> it was bad at the start. Stop immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Just go, hey, this isn't working out. Let's cut our losses. Let's get on to the next project. Mm. This has a score of 98 on Metacritic. <laughs> that is something that's interesting is the kind of... Rev this is the first time I've seen a positive review bomb. Mm. Uh, usually you see them because, I don't know, someone's coded a lady that's nice or something. <laughs> or there's not like a big, <laughs> or a big gay. fuck button next to it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but like this game is the first one I've seen that's like review bombed positively by the fans of this YouTube channel. Well, but it, it's cuckoo. But like uh, looking at the Steam <laughs> reviews, it's not people going, "Ha ha, how funny is this?" Are these people that we know from YouTube? It's people genuinely commenting and going, "This game is is fun and really funny, and the music's great." Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't. It doesn't. Looking well, then, at the reviews, this gaming wait, wait, is you, over. You I'm sorry, I've got to take it away from you. What? You've misused it. You've misused games, okay? Are you taking away games? I'm taking away games. All of them? All of them. From all of them. You can't have them. What about the ones with politics? No. Are you taking... None of them. Are you taking games out of you my You can't games? have anyone with the big fuck buttons. You can't have any of the sexy ladies. You can't have the singing ones. Oh. You can't have any of them. Ben. You can't have your little truck game, Tom. No. Okay? Oh, you can't on. have your simmy, wimmy little housewives game. Naomi? I only played like a year ago. Exactly. <laughs> They're all, I'm taking them away from all y'all until. Oh, this sucks. Until. Until what? You can learn how to treat them correctly. <laughs> Respect. Okay. Um, good o. Now it's ruined another thing. <laughs> I've and had now, enough. And now it's time for seven minutes in Evan. <laughs> Yay! Oh, sorry. Let me start the timer. Uh, crane shot. Crane shot. Crane shot. Crane shot. I have to assume that chat is going off. Start the timer. I was quite surprised that last time people seemed to like this, or me at too. least me too. Yeah. People love Evan. <laughs> yeah. Top up your little ice break. <laughs> It's not an ice break, it's a dare iced coffee. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Get your facts straight. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, wrong flavoured milk. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Wrong baby's food. <laughs> Can we please have some quiet <laughs> on sure and off great. set? This is a very important segment to me. <laughs> okay. And now it's time for seven minutes in Evan. Uh, did you start the... Your time starts. <laughs> I, um, uh, so last time I talked about all the NDI stuff. NDI 5 hadn't come out yet. The NDI 5 is out now. Um, 
Uh, they're up to like 5.0.3.0, right? Um, and uh, so I uh, upgraded the um, upgraded all our things to NDI five, um, uh, and you know it's it's kind of about the same as NDI uh, four point six, but you know that's um, that's fine. I uh, you know once uh, the uh, you know bird dogs uh, get a firmware update. Then um, you know the, the, with the, the NDI five library, then uh, you should better take advantage of the uh, reliable UDP stuff. Um, see if that uh, makes any difference to the performance uh, of the of, of all the NDI stuff. At the moment, we do get some frame dropping when we've got a you know five cameras going and all the other feeds that we have going for this show, for example. Um, so I'm hoping uh, we'll see a bit of a performance increase there. Um, but you know, there's some other fun tools with the, the NDI 5, it's got the, the audio tools and stuff are pretty handy, so I'm keen to test those out a bit more. Um, uh, there's a question before about what mics we use, I was going to say we use our uh, Rode Lavalier mics, um, which are pretty good, they're, they're um, pretty good mics, um, made by Rode here in Australia, always good to support Australian companies. Um, but the main reason we use them is because they have uh, uh, the, the connector on them is a Micron connector, which lets you change over the uh, the, uh, the connector on it, so you can connect different adapters for different uses, um, which is handy for us because we have some Sennheiser wireless packs. But then for this show, we have we wire in we don't have enough wireless mics to to have everybody wireless, so we use. Uh, we can just connect uh, XLR adapters to them and wire straight into the um, digital snake, which goes up to a mixing desk. Uh, so that's a handy feature. We can use the same labs, um, but uh, you know, different connectors for different systems. The downside to that is that they uh, uh, the the connect the micron connection is not very. Uh, I don't think it's quite robust enough. And as a result, we have some problems with them. Sometimes, you know, the Ben can sometimes, you know, uh, you know, uh, be a bit rough with uh, the, the mic. Sometimes, you know, it can happen with other people as well. It's not just Ben. Um, it's a bit, uh, anyway, and 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 it, you know, the the mic connector can be a bit kind of. It's a. It's. I think it's a weak point in the design, rather than having like a straight wide in XLR or. Um, or you know a Sennheiser connector or something like that. So uh, you know, I, I've I've found them to to break a fair bit, which isn't the end of the world because you can you, at, at the system's modulus you can unscrew the mic capsule. Um, you don't have to replace the whole mic. You don't have to buy a whole no, new two hundred dollar mic. You can just replace the the cable um, or the you know the end connector or whatever has failed. And, you know the mic capsule is usually fine. You just got to replace the cables, so that's kind of nice. But the other thing I don't love about the road level is it's another Ben thing actually, um, is that um, they 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 peak out pretty quickly. Um, I I don't even know if it's quick. It's probably kind of a normal level really. Um, it's just that often for the stuff that we do, people are screaming into the microphones, and they're they'll they'll distort not because they're distorting on the input on the mixer or anything like that. They're set quite low with quite a lot of headroom, but they distort before they even hit the, the mixer, um, before they even hit the preamp. So um, I think uh, when we when we upgrade, we'll, you know, we'll, uh, I'd love to get wireless mics for, you know, the whole lot, um, which would be great, but kind of expensive. Um, but I'd love to, to, to switch over to like, uh, some DPAs or something if we can afford it. They're quite pricey. Um, you're looking at like for, uh, more than like what, I don't know, 800 bucks a mark or something like that. Maybe not quite that much, but a lot. Um, they're more durable because they wouldn't have a swappable connector, although they do have a swappable connector. I think the DPAs, they have an option for that. But I think we would get a hardwired um, connector to whatever wild system we use. Um, and you can get uh, reduced sensitivity ones that are designed for 
um, you know, when they're marked really close to someone and they're singing really loudly or screaming, you know, like in our cases, um, screaming can happen a bit. There's also the, um, I think the Sank and Cos 11s potentially have a, a reduced sensitivity model. I've also been looking at the Countryman B3s, but I'm not sure if they, they might be more for um, sort of like film use. We don't really need to be able to hide the mics. We don't need uh, in, for a lot of what we do um, because we're not shooting like a lot of narrative stuff. You know, for, for the studio sort of stuff, we can use mics that have bigger capsules um, and use a clip and they're, they're visible and that's okay. Whereas a lot of other sort of high-end lav mics, they're designed to be hidden so they're quite tiny um, and they uh, have... Um, uh, boosted higher frequencies because they're designed to be used under clothing um, and so they would sound kind of muffled if they didn't kind of have a frequency boost at the top there um, where we don't need that for a lot of what we do so um, something like the Wait, how long have I been going for? We've got 30 seconds left. Oh 30 seconds left okay great uh... <laughs> uh... So, uh, yeah, so I think uh, the DPAs would be great, but the D DPAs are kind of like, I think, you know, they're kind of the, the, the bee's knees of, of lav mics. They're quite pricey. Um, but, um, but, you know, if we, if we have a bit of spare cash when we're upgrading, we'll be looking at a Shure system, um, maybe the ULX or the QLX series. I can't remember which one now. Um, whichever the cheaper one of those two is, I think is the one we've been looking at because we don't need the... Um, the more expensive ones come with like Dante uh, uh, compatibility and that sort of thing, which we don't really need for that. It would be nice to have, but we don't really need it. Um, we just need a pretty basic uh, mic system. I think I've been, have I gone over seven minutes? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Man! <laughs> Woo! I mean, I could go on. Uh, That's the stuff right there. Strangely mediated wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You should record you just talking about that, whatever it was that you were talking about. <laughs> And honest, I'm not being, this is not intentionally mean, or <laughs> nor am I being... It's accidentally mean, is it? Hyperbolic, but I think that would send you to sleep <laughs> really well. It's, it was very relaxing. Right, maybe I should do a, a yeah. sleep I have a, meditation. I have a slightly different um, experience of that, because I realized during that conversation that uh, Skyrim is still open on my computer, so I've got kind of a dungeon ambiance backing that whole thing. So it just sounded like Evan was saying all of this into a uh, an empty stone room, <laughs> which I really recommend okay. anyone to uh, many... do their own home edit of. <laughs> Either that or some ocean sounds in the background. Mm, yeah. Or maybe just the soothing chugga-chug of a steam train. How many breast nice. mods do you have on <laughs> your Skyrim? On me? Two. <laughs> <laughs> one left, one right. <laughs> breast mods. Um, as the only gamer on this show, I was gaming. Um, oh, yes. Was that Minesweeper? I was playing Minesweeper, but I panicked. I was rushing. But yeah. I think if I had to just calm down a little bit, I could have... I couldn't... It was 99 bombs, and I... And I blew it on the, I had 18 left, so. Uh, mm. Big Sorry. one, but next time. Get them next time. Um, Songs for a Hero is available now on Switch and PC. Don't Whatever you it. do. Pick it up. <laughs> don't buy this game. I reckon you should do it. Don't buy this game. Um, I mean, you can pick it up on Steam and you could refund it if you find that it's annoying. You will. Um, don't, <laughs> just don't get it. Uh, you could also just watch a playthrough on YouTube. Or Maybe just don't even experience. think about it ever. <laughs> this is, I'm not being mean, I'm trying to help you all. Um, and you're right to do it. Yeah. That's all for this. Seven, I needed seven minutes in Evan to get me <laughs> through that review. That was so nice. Yeah, it's a real... Just, I was just feeling depressed. That was like a, that was like a, a, a such a good recharge. Yeah, it's a real... Uh, of all my positive energy. You really cleaned the slate. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's that dog's little human butt. <laughs> yeah, Conzo's... Conzo, are you okay? Okay. Little dog it? with a human butt. Little it? dog with um, a human butt. That's all for this week. But before we go, we have a question. Little dog with a human butt. 
Someone's walking around with a dog butt on. Yeah, that's a good song. You just came up with that on the spot, right? I did. Amazing. Wow. Butt um, swap. The movie where a flops. human and a dog swap butts. Somewhere there's an old dude going, where's my ass? <laughs> 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 Hello, um, Netflix. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. This week's question was from Connor and Alexandria Melgan. I don't know if it's from both of you, but it's, um, maybe, you know, it's, this is like a, 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 a partner um, account, I suppose. That, that's, anyway. On Patreon. On Patreon. Um, wow. Someone is, wants to make sure that they're not subscribing to Wicked Whims. <laughs> 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 Someone, I'm um, sorry, your friend Joe are in the chat. I know you guys don't look at it during the taping, but your friend Joe said, I feel like Tom's face drops whenever he sees himself on screen. And that's exactly what happened there. <laughs> uh, and I, the worst thing is I can see it. Like when you guys were having that nice riff before, I caught a glimpse of my big face and you could see it. If you run the tape pack in post or something, you'll see me go... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, don't be don't be ashamed of your body. Of your body I haven't even thought of being ashamed of my body. I was ashamed of my face. Me, now I got a whole other Tom, You gotta be proud of your body. Tom, your Tom. face is part of your body. Oh, you're right. Wow. Yeah, I've been scared of all I've been ashamed of all of it without even knowing. <laughs> Um, the ultimate move against Tom. Just hold up a mirror if he's giving you too much lip. <laughs> He'll shut <start laughs> <Yeah>. right up. <laughs> Put him on a big LED wall. Um, shame, shame, shame. This is the question. Shame, the question shame, was. Um, shame, 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 Oh, I don't know. Do someone else first. Okay, Ben. <laughs> I got one in the chamber. Yep. Uh, Splinter this... Cell. Yeah. I love that game. Oh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> but I know that if Ubisoft were to bring it back now, they would make it a persistent world. <laughs> uh, and you, you would pay to... <laughs> Not Ubisoft. Pay to play and <laughs> there would be microtransactions. Welcome to our game. You have to be uh, always online or it <laughs> is uh, crashing is to the desktop. <laughs> yeah. okay. In one That's level, <laughs> in one level, you have to sneak past the HR at the Ubisoft office <laughs> to go sexually harass someone. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Just Evan, Evan legally looking out for himself at the end there really got me. Oh my, oh my god, I cannot believe they said that thing about us that we did. Yeah. What was he saying? I guess 500 of their employees said it. Uh, so what? <laughs> Evan doesn't believe them. <laughs> uh, do you want to put your uh, earbud in so you can listen to Tom? No, I'm Tom? good, I got it. You got it? A bit finicky? Huh? I'm fine. I just like to sit like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Whenever I sit, quote unquote, normally, that's me masking, actually. <laughs> um, uh, Tom? Oh, thank you, Naomi. I was worried that you were going <laughs> to go in. Um, I would like to see, did you ever see um, Space Station Silicon Valley for the Nintendo 64? No. Okay, good. Well, because uh, I've just decided I don't give a shit about that. Banjo-Kazooie, but as a platformer. No nuts and bolts stuff. Just bring me back that bird and bear combo. Mm. Yeah, classic Banjo-Kazooie. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good... Um, I really like Banjo-Kazooie, but yeah, they really stuffed off the third one, didn't they? What's going oh, on? No. Did someone just get shot? No yeah. one got shot. Yeah. Someone just knocked over some poutine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll talk over that. Oh. Beck. Beck knocked over the I'll poutine. Just, I'll just put this in for a little bit. Um, just pop it in. Just I'll pop just pop it, it in. Just pop it in. Uh, um, I can handle about, 10 minutes of you? pain in order to hear my beautiful friend Tom's voice. <laughs> um, I <laughs> see, I, I, <laughs> I, I would have said uh, Time Splitters. I'm a big fan of Time Splitters, mm -hmm. but that actually is coming back. So that's no longer a dormant franchise. Oh, yeah. You played a game in order to play that game. Right? I did. I did. Yes. 
Yeah, I played through, um, yeah. what's it called? What's it called? Homefront. Home I played through Homefront um, on, on stream last year. Um, because oh, you the- guys really, that's my favorite stream. <laughs> so you had to play through Every that Saturday game. morning, Evan saying, yeah. I liked your stream. 40 knots. I it's a my... cold, <laughs> breezy morning. I liked yeah. streaming. Talking about news. 13 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was quaint. Oh, thank you. Um, it's like, a, vill- it's like a, a villager from a village that had been cut off from society. <laughs> 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 Walk, <laughs> walks into a fishing town. <laughs> Maybe I'll start streaming again. Infinity uh, minutes in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I well, because home for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, Homefront has yeah, it has like an Easter egg in Homefront is you can play uh, time, lev- levels from Time Splitters two, um, a few maybe three levels, mm. uh, but you have to get like seventy five percent of the way through the game, the single player campaign. So I played yeah, I played through it, um, and it was worth it. It was mm. great. Um, but, but that's coming back, so what are you going to choose? So, oh, yeah, so Time Splitters is, is getting a reboot. Um, I was going to say Quake is, is kind of a dormant oh. franchise now because, so the last one was Quake 4? Yeah, yeah. Which... Uh, Strog. Yeah. Quake is a, obviously a classic series and they, they brought, they rebooted okay. Doom. They've rebooted... Quake 2 was sick. Yeah, Quake 2 was a great game. Quake 1 was a great game. Nine Inch Nails did the soundtrack. Fuck classic. Yeah, man. It was awesome. Um, Quake 3 Arena, so good. Yeah. Quake Four, it was it was not not as good, but it was it was still a solid game, right? Mm. Um, and then they did Doom Three was like a reboot of the Doom series, like bringing that into the three D world. And then they did another reboot of Doom, um, you know, more recently, which is great. I'd love to see them do, um, you know, twenty twenty one for what? <laughs> Oh, nothing. I was just like, <laughs> I was picturing someone behind you feeding the, um, the Quake series Wikipedia article into your back, <laughs> just bit by bit. It's a good visual. The um, no, it's yeah, it's a great series, and I'd love to. I, I think it'd be really cool if they brought it back, like you know, like the new Doom style sort mm. of situation. Oh, I think that's a great answer. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know what I reckon? There is Quake Champions, but I'm not sure if that's sorry. You, what? I reckon Vanquish. You remember Vanquish? No, what was that? Oh, Vanquish was sick. Like, That's kind of Bayonetta like, right? Yeah, oh. like let's go back to back platinum. Let's, you know, uh, here's the thing. Just reading. While legendary Devil okay, May Cry director okay. Hideki <laughs> Kamiya launched no, Bayonetta no, at a great no. fanfare, platinum ass Resident Evil creator Shinji Mikami Why to come on board to direct Vanquish. I, know, I can't believe I yeah. fucking I know that this, this is like a very loose <laughs> gaming show, <laughs> but how can someone that hates games be on a very loose game related thing? Can show? I finish what I was saying? Please? No, I would prefer ben, not to. please, can you let me speak? Vanquish puts players in control of a badass super soldier that could boost across the ground for ages, flip through the air, and take on oh entire armies of large-scale robots on his own while dodging tons of incoming fire and explosions. Why, Isn't why that do you cool? think that this is acceptable behavior? <laughs> this doesn't you, this isn't bad for us. This is this is bad for you. It's a bad look. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe Tom fucking fell for that? What an idiot. <laughs> Listen, my weakness is if you read pretty much anything, any article from a website called like gamesradar.com or something, <laughs> uh, that opinion will probably match mine. Well, Tom, it I've sucks. got bad news for you. I was actually reading from Ryan Reynolds' blog. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, no, that does well for me. That's a charismatic fella. <laughs> It's a weird area because everything is getting rebooted, yeah. but yeah, then like the left. result is terrible. Like Virtua Fighter just got remastered, and there's this weird esports thing for the PlayStation only. Uh, Time Splitters is coming back, but it'll probably suck. Like, yeah, there is part you know, of me that's like, just, weird... it won't be as good as it was. Um, yeah. I mean, they even just like remastering Crisis and stuff like that. It's like yeah, this is feels like it's worse somehow. Mm. Um, they usually are. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. For the most part, it's weird. It's like the game, the gaming is already eating itself, like movies are now. It's yeah. like you haven't been around yeah. long enough, cunt. Do you think in ten years they'll do a, like a reboot of Everything. Songs for a Hero? I Gex, Gex, Gex. Okay. Sassy crocodile. Is Patrick's okay excited. Now, Gex. <laughs> 
And he's and he's riffing, but now he's riffing about the goings on of today and name Your dropping. Your eye makeup is actually inspired by Gex spinning a hula hoop. Is that right, Nan? <laughs> 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 you know what? That's fine. <laughs> After what I did to you earlier, that's fine. <laughs> that's fair. Um, okay. Yep. Uh, I never played Gex. That was a platform on PlayStation, right? He had, he had quite an attitude, my friend. Right. Okay. Is that the guy Gex 64. Gex 64. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was on 64. I played it? it on PS1. And he was so funny in that little suit. <laughs> He mm. told you how to be weird, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You do have a Gex nature about you. Yeah. Am I supposed to be, Patrick, why are you laughing? Because I don't understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get it. What does yeah. it mean? Fucking, he doesn't get I'm you I'm so like sick of Patrick. You. No, no one ever could. Um, <laughs> if you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, uh, jump on the, what is it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> what about Bomberman? Oh no, they rebooted that in a second. Yeah, they always reboot that son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Bomberman Royale. Shit. Someone wakes the, up the and makes another. The recent Bomberman I played from like a couple of years ago or something sucked. Yeah, some guy wakes up, does a shit, and calls it Bomberman. <laughs> 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 yeah, that one wasn't great. <laughs> I was like, hang on. This is just a pile of shit. <laughs> oh, damn, these Switch cartridges do taste bad. Oh, I'm licking a big pile of shit. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> um, Can you do a Tim the Toolman Taylor, Tom? Uh, Not very good. good. Uh, uh, oh, okay, fine. I was trying to. Uh, no, even oh that God. one that you uh, tried for. Is that that's all right? Uh, Mine's pretty good. I don't have the vocal cords for hit, it. Hit me again. My vocal cords are fucked from uh, screaming. Uh, pretty and bad. And you do one, Tom? Uh, no, he's just better. Pretty <laughs> okay. And I can't even okay, hit that I'm frequency. <laughs> totally. You know. Um, jump on the backstage pass Patreon tier is where to go for uh, for if you want to have vote on questions or if you want to submit questions uh, for the show. Did you know on the backstage pass tier? Yes. You can also just show up at Stupid Old Studios, <laughs> and they are contractually obligated <laughs> to give you a tour, That's and that true. is regardless of the COVID restrictions. And if Xavier is in the office, <laughs> he will suck you off. Really? Xavier was in the office today. <laughs> uh, uh, we have to thank our... So come on down. We have to thank our top patrons. Big thanks to Adam Donaghy, Adam Jen Batista, Adrian Hernandez Arista, Alice, Amy G, Andre Agnew, Austin Aggie, Valsaru, Ben, Zombie, Boot Scootin' Putin, Cameron Fullwood, Rupert the Dog, Shamath Wujaratni. Bex mad at you for some reason. She's just pointing at you and no, mouthing, she's mad. no! No, she's mad at the dog. That's no, the dog. I don't she's... think that's right. I think <laughs> he's talking about you. Gonzo, come here. Gonzo hates our patrons. <laughs> Um, Chandler, the bacon man. little guy. <laughs> Gonzo is the perfect dog to walk into a shot. Like, what a Talking funny little freak. <laughs> Chandler, the bacon man, Christian Nordheim, Christian Sanchez. Christian Sanchez. Cypher DH, Connor and Alexandria Malican. Um, <laughs> Thought I'd start that. Why not? Sure, that's fun. Mm. Daleks ruined my day. Dan Fox, David Bourne, David Cunningham, David Decay. Cunningham. Dixie Dean 17, Drew Peisner, Drew Schuller, Aaron Yet Kindler, yep, Kindler, Evan De Villiers, Evan De Villiers. S. Darling, Villiers, do you reckon? I don't know, I'm just making it up, man. Uh, I'm, I'm just making it up too. <laughs> Man's I just saying stuff right. that's not related to the list. <laughs> <laughs> He's just making noises. Fr <laughs> He's like a parent. Uh, Froda Bodka, Exotic, <laughs> Exotic, is that? Froda, how many Froda. times? Froda Bodka. What did I say? Froda. Exotic. You said Freud. I did not say Freud. You're obsessed with <laughs> I did not say Freud. <laughs> <laughs> you really took that me. personally. I said, I did very defensive. Maybe the very first time I said Freud. Speaking of Freud, Greg Larson's soft lip. <laughs> 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 Jen V, Greg Middleton, uh, Harry E, Jack F. Mufati, Jamata, Carl Witte, Lachlan Chapman, Lou Piero. Lou Piero. <laughs> Uh, Michael Fla Flaherty? Fla Flaherty? Is it? Flaherty. 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 Irish, Michael right? Flaherty. Flaherty. 
Um, my name is Sam, Nestigaharo, Nick Figueroa, Prash Chanda, Robosaw, Robbie Proctor, Scott Chapman, wow. Scoven Munro Smakichin. Oh, come on with that. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Um, <laughs> Grow up, patron. Shubhav Hader, Sean Prague, Sheikh Mozart, Stephen Burke, Siraj Piris, Unreal Fitness. I feel like that's an ad for some reason. <laughs> is that someone's name or is this? Oh, an ad? I mean, that's Unreal. definitely. <laughs> Unreal Fitness. Um, XZ Neil and Zach Steinbacher. Thanks so much for uh, supporting us. There's so many people and it's so There's so many people and that's so uh, nice. Um, if you want to hear your they're name. They're probably about, mostly um, patrons because of me, do you think? No. Uh, <laughs> you can make that list even longer by adding your name to it. Because I'm trying to help you. <laughs> um, <laughs> to close if you try to make me self aware, so help me. <laughs> Sign up to the close person friend Patreon tier. Uh, there's some great benefits to signing up. You get episodes early. Mm. Uh, you get to join us in the Discord, uh, which is always a bit of fun, right? Mm hmm. There's a nice little oh, community yeah, there. Yeah, well, you get yeah, like, so much fun. I, I commented in there. in there today. I yeah. fucking get wow. in there. And you get uh, the people's princess Naomi Higgins over here slumming it with the freaks in the Discord. Uh -huh. And because it's because it's through Discord, you can't even tell that I'm retching while I'm writing. <laughs> you get the cheat sheets, and you can send in questions that we yes. answer at the end of the show. And yeah. also on the close personal frontier, did you know you actually get all of our personal numbers? Yeah, it's not true. You can call us at any. Time. And we are contractually obligated to keep our phones on loud. I answer <laughs> all calls. I always answer calls because it might be the call. You know what I'm talking about? No. You're oh, a star. Yeah. Hmm? Call of the wild. Mm. <laughs> Need to piss and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a big shit in the woods. I, that's For $5 more, you get a <laughs> mug as well. And we ship them everywhere in the world. Isn't that amazing? For five bucks. You ever done a poop in the woods? No. Tom? I uh, once shit in Hyde Park but I in <laughs> Sydney, but I hung my butt over a balustrade with my pants down around my ankles, and then I tried to wipe with a handful of leaves, but they were damp, so I didn't wipe it off. I just spread it around. <laughs> Jesus. You had that one in the chamber ready to go. Why? Why I did think this? Think about it a lot. <laughs> Where were you shitting uh, into over the balustrade? Uh, the the park. Oh. <laughs> I was shitting from my butt onto the ground. <laughs> Why? I didn't. I, my bathroom was like a hundred meters away. <laughs> But I couldn't make it. And so I just realized, I was like, oh, no. And I just... Bleh. I, um. I was here to do, go real bad. And I was on the 96 tram. Why? And it was too far away from my house. Why? So I, I went into a friend's place. And they weren't home. So I broke into their house and shattered their <laughs> toilet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just shit your pants. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no, I'm not going to shit my pants. What? what? No, Evan. Why is that a good solution? <laughs> no, that's not a good solution. <laughs> just go home. Just fucking hold it. Are you supposed <laughs> to be adults? I couldn't hold it. I was, something was wrong. <laughs> something was real wrong. Just uh, shit your pants? <laughs> Evan, in that situation, would you have peacefully looked at the distance between your house and the tram, said, such is life, and just shit your pants standing up? I feel like I, I in, in Tom's scenario, 100 metres away from home, I would shit my pants before shitting over a balustrade. Let me, but park. I'm, I'm going I'm to reword. Yes. I would just try to make it home, and if it happens, it happens. Well, that, yeah, right. That's what okay. I, I think that's probably what I'm... <laughs> okay, what? I didn't see it like that. I saw it like you just gauging up what the is... distance going. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I saw it too. <laughs> like I a toddler. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like a toddler walking around the house. Just looking look at a nappy. GPS going, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> 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 If you are, I mean, you'd oh. wait until the last possible, you, you know. 
Well, well listen, what I'm saying is that was the last possible thing. <laughs> yeah. And I realized I had a fucking quick time event where I could choose <laughs> to do it in my pants or out of my pants. And I chose out of my pants. Yeah, I had a, f- I was at the friend's house. I, I knew- didn't make, oh. I knew where there was an entry I wasn't point. like, oh, I can what? make it, but I'm going to shit on the floor. I, you know, I never hear this from my friends that are women. Never. <laughs> And yet I have to listen to this and I have to experience my boyfriend pissing in the boot of my car. That's because- And not telling me for several days until it started to smell. <laughs> That's because women aren't as open as men. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you serious? There's female piss and shit all over this city. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh. What are you saying? Uh, I feel like hum, I feel like hum is- no. It's not my story to tell, but I feel like Harma's done... I mean, she has a chaotic butt. Yeah, but she's she's an adult woman, Tom. Do you understand what I'm saying here? What, so she shits her sack dress? What are you talking about? I'm saying she would be near a toilet. She would be like, oh, I have to take a shit. Why don't I do it before I leave the place with a toilet? I think that's worse if you shit on the floor where which a place has a toilet. I don't know the context of the story, but in my mind, there was a toilet and Hum went, I'm going to shit on this floor. No, what? She didn't shit on the floor. That's what I'm saying. That's not what Tom says. <clears throat> hum I don't remember saying that, but it does sound like something floor. I'd like to say. Hang on. <laughs> All right. We gotta get to the bottom of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on. I did not say that Hum shit on the floor. <laughs> I just said it? I can believe if Hum has done shits on the floor or a shit in public before. One second. <laughs> Are we finished the show? No, this We're is nearly, nearly. still the show. Yeah, this is still technically the review. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather shit my pants and play that fucking game. Oh, for sure. I would rather do a warm <laughs> brown mess. I'd let you shit my pants before I play that game again. <laughs> hey, man, can I shit your pants or do you want to play songs for Hero? <laughs> Hey, um, just some gamey, gamey game, and I was saying, um, there, are, all the boys are saying that they've like shit in random places, and I was saying that girls don't do that, and then Tom said that you probably had definitely done that, but I said no, you wouldn't do that. Anyway, call me back. I'm not. I, I have not done that. I don't believe. Yeah, well, because you shit your pants all the time. That's yeah. why. <laughs> no, I haven't done that either. Yeah, you've got a built-in fail set. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never shit on the ground anywhere. Fight, but I have surrendered a number of times. Yeah, the rest of us are fighting for a better future, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> worth pointing out that one of them is legal and one of them is illegal. What are you talking about? Okay, no. Is it illegal? What's illegal about doing a shit in the park? That's illegal. You I'm can pretty do sure. It. do it all the time. Yeah, but people can't do that. You can't just... Just because dogs can do it doesn't mean people can. I'm pretty sure if I walked into a busy shopping center and just shat my pants, someone would call the cops. Wait, so he can't yes. shit like a dog, but Gonzo can walk around with a human Dumb. ass. <laughs> yes. That's and great. that, and he Double stole the, his human ass from a human, so somewhere there's an old man with a dog's ass. But that old yes. man can shit in the park. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> if I shit in a bush in the park, that is a victimless crime. Uh. And anyone who tries to litigate that against me is a fool. Do you pick it up in like a doggy bag and put it in the bin? Mm. Yeah, he picks it up in Here's a man bag. I, <laughs> I pull up my pants and I walk away. <laughs> I, I think that's at, at, at the very least inconsiderate. Um, it is. As someone who has had to clean yeah. human shit off their dog, which is probably Tom's, now looking back. <laughs> <Probably Tom's laughs> shit. Uh, so that makes it a little bit. human shit. Because I could smell the difference, Tom. I really don't want to talk about it. It was very traumatic for me, okay? Well, what? Maybe we should just wrap up the show, shall we? I'll just send... Yeah, yeah. I'll just send Tom a picture of me. Oh, wait. Hum's, cr- Hum's calling. Oh, the dog. Hello, Hum. Did you get my voicemail? No. What happened? Okay, just so you know, you're on a stream right now. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, sorry. Anyway, I was saying that... Um, hey, you know, Hum. All these guys are talking about how they've done shits on the street and stuff because they weren't far enough away from a house. And I said that girls didn't do that. And then Tom said that he was sure that you had probably done that. No, I'm not Tom. Yeah, well, that's what I said, that you probably wouldn't, like, shit on the street. Well, you know what, though, Tom? I think Tom's right in that I think if I had the privilege of generally solid and medically okay shits, I might do it on the street. But my shits are normally, like, they require, like, 
paramedical attention. You know? Okay, all right. Love you, babe. Go, go. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, what was that about girls not talking about? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> not, <laughs> they don't talk about this. <laughs> <stuff at all. laughs> no, that's not what I said. Comments. I said well, girls don't shit on the street. I obviously didn't include the part about it's because they all have IBS, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Um, okay, sign up. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Gamey Game. Um, <laughs> if you enjoy the show, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course, and you can tell all your friends about it, uh, and you can, you know, share it around. We have a, a Clips channel as well. If you have occasion, occasionally, if there's, if there's good bits of the show, we put them on the Clips channel. Like seven minutes in heaven. Uh, can I write yes, on actually, Gonzo? Yeah. Huh? You, can I write up with gonna my pen write on Gonzo? On Gonzo? You can't write on Gonzo. Have you ever tried? He should be able to write on Gonzo. <laughs> Tom, no. It'll hurt him. All right. Well, you need to get you need to get a texture or something. It's incredibly like thin. Um, How would you like it if someone wrote on your ball sack? <laughs> I. That's why I go to church every Sunday. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How is this not over? That's my um, I'm done. Also, we podcast the show, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hum just popped into the Twitch chat with, okay, so I thought she was calling to tell me we had season two. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, yeah. Naomi, you didn't lead with, hey, no big news. You led with such a tone of expectations. I just wanted to get in quickly so she didn't say anything bad. Luckily, um, you know, we <laughs> she did anyway. <laughs> Hi, Hum. Um. You can also. Hi, um, um, That's my a, wife. We, we have a, a subreddit. You can go to uh, uh, Reddit. Uh, what is it? Gamingame.reddit.com. Um, do you, uh, anything to, to plug while we're here? If people are still watching. Um, if the people in charge of getting us a season two are watching, um, I really have to make it up to harm. So <laughs> um, just get on that. Great. Good. Um, ben? I've got a game that I don't want you to buy. It's called Song for Hero. <laughs> don't buy it. Okay. Have some fucking respect for yourself. <laughs> uh, Tom, would you like to plug anything? Yeah, check me out on Twitch. I stream Coward. on there. And also, I, come on, grow up. Grow the fuck up. I don't want to do this with you. I don't want to engage. And also, uh, I have a... I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this in my moment. No, this go my on, moment. Tom. No, go on. Tell, um, you, tell everyone in your big, loud voice. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, Believe you in yourself, out... buddy. Oh, you know I'm not going to fall for something as stupid as that. <laughs> you ever meet someone who believes in themselves? A very unsettling. Um, <laughs> I got a YouTube channel that I started, which is being populated with edits oh. of uh, streams. Uh, the next one that goes up is going to be uh, an edit of me and Naomi playing Viscera Cleanup Detail, in which I uh, successfully gaslit her for about 40 minutes. Yes, he <laughs> right. did. Well, we'll link My to that in the me. YouTube description so people can find that. Um, thanks so much for watching the show. We will be back next week, I believe. Um, so we'll catch you then. Bye.